All right, let's talk about the Williams Ball Lock Carabiner. Over the last few years, this has become a mainstay for me because uh, we're really recommending and finding a lot of advantages to using what's called the direct anchor belay when climbing in multi-pitch scenarios, most scenarios. And so we're building anchors that we can belay directly off of for a leader leaving the station in a multi-pitch climbing situation. And the really great thing about the Williams ball lock is that it's got this nice wide surface to run an Italian hitch in. So it's designed to have a rope, a belay hitch in it. And it's got the advantage of being triple actioning. So the triple action means you press the button, you have to turn it and you have to open it. It's got three safety fails, fail safes on it. It doesn't open without intentional opening. It can't slowly get twisted open. Whereas the Williams screw lock in that application would just need someone to be watching it and make sure it's not slowly getting opened by the rope moving over it. Um, and then the other thing that's an advantage with the ball locks is uh, if you get good at using them, they're actually way faster and easier to use. So for me, that means that at every belay, I'm saving a few seconds and that adds up to minutes by the end of the day. So super fast, if you get used to holding it in the palm of your hand, you can just pop it open. Whereas with the uh, screw lock, I've got to sit there and screw it closed and screw it open. If you were to time that, you'd see a substantial difference. So it's fast, it's sturdy, solid, doesn't unlock, which gives me peace of mind when I'm leading out on a hard, um, on a hard pitch. So we want to talk about the Williams ball lock this week and uh, more specifically it's an excellent belay device for this new application that we've adopted uh, over the last two or three years and that's the direct anchor belay. <clears throat> so I'm at the anchor, I'm the second multi-pitch climbing and my leader is heading up out uh, onto the next pitch and <clears throat> as he leaves um, we always used to belay directly off of our harness and then we put a quick draw up on a bolt and if a fall took place, I'd get pulled into the anchor. And uh, what we've decided now is that we'd rather belay off the anchor and let it take that force so that there's a better chance that I can actually hold on to the fall. And the Williams ball lock is awesome for that. You can use a belay device that's redirected in an upward direction here, or you can just use the Munter hitch. Um, I tend towards the Munter hitch because it operates really well in any direction. It just flips back and forth. If my leader takes a fall before he clips a piece, then the rope would rip down and it would just flip and lock and I would capture his progress. Um, that'd be a fall factor two fall. We wouldn't want that, but that would work. The anchor would, uh, the anchor would hold him. Well, but if he takes a fall, um, if he takes a fall after he clips his first piece, then it will pull up. And that's also totally cool. I kind of become the ballast in the system here and the anchor takes the brunt of the, uh, of the impact. So what we've done is we've protected ourselves as the belayer from that impact. And we've also protected our leader by increasing the chance the probability that we'll hold on to the rope in a large scale event. Now the reason we love the ball lock carabiner here is because the rope's moving and you'll notice <clears throat> it's running and it can hit that gate and if it hits that gate over and over again and I don't pay attention it can tend to spin open. So the ball lock is awesome in this application. It gives me that extra safety if I'm the one leading to think yeah you know what that beaner's not going to open up but it also uh, gives my Belayer, the confidence to know that they don't always have to be watching and rescrewing the uh, Williams screw gate. Nice wide carabiner, triple actioning, and it's super easy to open it and clean it from the anchor. It's fast, it's effective, and it's an uh, awesome piece of gear. Hey, if you're interested in more information on the uh, benefits and the advantages of any of these systems, uh, specifically the direct anchor belay, um, give us a call, Girth Hitch Guiding, um, or check us out at girthhitchguiding.ca. Uh, we'd love to empower your next adventure. Uh, here at Trailhead, there's a tech corner. It's an awesome place to come and polish up these skills. 
Uh, you can also check out Tech Tuesdays where you could hire a guide, a local Red Deer based guide to uh, teach you some of these skills. <laughs>